Hello friends, I hope you're doing really well today. Yesterday, of course, was Father's Day, and so I took some time to reflect on my dad, how he has cared for me, how he loves me, how he trained my brother and sister and I, how he has nurtured me as his son and taught me how to be a man, he taught me how to pray, he taught me how to sing, he taught me how to be a good father. And I'm so thankful to God for my dad. I couldn't have asked for a better father. I looked at some pictures too of my dad when he was my age, in his mid-30s, and often people think that he is me when they see pictures of him when he was my age, or when I was a teenager and people would call for my dad, and I'd pick up the phone, I'd play along, because they would think that I was my dad. My voice sounds so much like his. Our personalities are a little different, and I'm a little bit taller than he is. He has blue eyes, I have brown, but I look a lot like my dad, because He's my father. Sound a lot like my dad because he's my father. And God, our father, also has called us to look like him, to glorify him. What it means to glorify God is simply this, to reveal him, to make him known, to put his character, his attributes on display, to show the world who he is, what he is like. And it says this in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. You see, those born of God look like their father. We are progressively, by the power of the Holy Spirit, made more like our God. To be conformed to the image of the Son, Jesus Christ. We're in union with Christ. We are heirs with all the saints in light. We're part of the family of God. That means we are children of God who, as the days and weeks and months go by, look more like the God we serve. The one who has brought us from darkness to light. But going back to Ephesians chapter 5, it says, Therefore, be imitators of God. That means to look like Him, to act like Him, to respond like God in the situations and circumstances we find ourselves in. But the word therefore is there for a reason. It means built on what has been said. It's therefore based on the preceding verses in chapter 4. Verse 30 of chapter 4 says this, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. And then it continues, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you. Get rid of all that, along with all malice. That shouldn't be part of your life. It shouldn't be part of my life. But instead, here's what we're to do. It's verse 32, right at the end of chapter 4. This is the verse immediately preceding Ephesians 5, 1 it says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. God has forgiven us, been patient with us, incredibly loving toward us. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. You see, we're to look like our Father our Father in heaven, who has forgiven us all our sins, who has loved us unconditionally, who is patient with us without end. And that's how we glorify God. That's how we look like our Father. So it continues in verse two, and walk in love. Just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. So today, here's the bottom line. When you walk into the office, when you engage in your work, when you interact with your coworkers, when you receive instructions from your boss, or when you talk to a customer on the phone, or as you parent your children, as you care for the people around you, think about this. When we come to know Jesus' love, it changes the way that we love. See, instead of using others to get their love, when we come to know Jesus, we can instead love others the way he has loved us. And that's how we be imitators of God. That's how we look like our Father, because he has loved us without end, with an unstoppable, 
unconditional love. He forgave us. So be like your Father. Look like Him today through the way that you work, through the way that you talk, through the way that you interact with others, through your countenance even, the expressions on your face, to display His love. That's what He's calling us to do. As His beloved children, those brought into His family, born of God, those who've received new life, look like their Father. So that's your commission. That's my commission today. Look like your Father. And just like me, my son Hudson loves to climb trees, too. Does he look anything like me? I think he's my son. <laughs> Does he look like your daddy? No. <laughs> In a beautiful, girly sort of way. Person. Do you look like your father? Cheese.